Miraculous Kwame with strongest powers tier list, my opinion, most of these are hunches since not all Kwamis used their powers and who knows what happens if they use their powers. This is just like ranking miraculous abilities but who is the strongest, all Kwamis are strong enough without their unique powers, this video will rank how strong their corresponding abilities are. Let's start with the Kwame of creation Tiki, Tiki used lucky charm two times this series. One is a galette that is bigger than earth and the other one is a trash can from Marinette's school which means Tiki can control what she creates. I will rank Tiki as tier S, she can create what she wants probably even a black hole or another universe since she is the only Kwame of creation. She can also destroy in a different way. Next one is Plague, he also used his power of cataclysm in Style Queen and it made a big destruction which makes it out of control. Plague is also the cause of the dinosaur extinction as said by Master Fu. He also said it on Zoe when she became the cat miraculous holder. I will also rank Plague as tier S, by using Cataclysm it can destroy anything. Even a Miraculous. Next one is Trix, Trix can create illusions whatever it likes. Trix used Mirage in the episode Gang of Secrets, but it creates other unwanted illusions, Mirage is for a strategy which makes it a good contribution for the team. I will rank Trix as tier B, I mean Mirage is something that is not powerful if you look at it when Rina Rouge used it, but it's mind manipulation, it can basically make someone crazy by casting Mirage. Next one is Waze, Waze power is creating shields and protect anything that is inside of it. It's actually like making a force field since shelter can be destroyed by cataclysm and hard to destroy by something else. Waze never seen in the series use shelter, so this is just a hunch. I will rank ways as tier C shelter is actually powerful since it makes a barrier and also can crush something by pushing it using shelter. Next is Pollen, Pollen haven't used Venom in the series so I am not sure how the powers work if Pollen uses it, but obviously it can stun anyone and it probably only affects people in machines and the catastrophe, I'm not sure what will happen. I'm gonna rank Pollen as tier B, it can also be tier A since it's a one hit situation for being hit by Venom. Next is Nuru, Accumatization is one of the most powerful and miraculous, it can control and command whoever the victim is, it can also be voluntary. Nuru never cast Accumatization before but I think if Nuru ever did it can automatically command anyone it wants to Accumatize. Will rank Nuru as tier A, it can literally give any power it wants to its Accumatized victim. Next is Dusu, Nuru and Dusu is similar in terms of summoning and giving powers to their creation. In Dusu's power it creates Senta Monster based on emotions, Dusu never used Amicization before in the series. I will rank Dusu as tier A, both the Butterfly and Peacock Miraculous is OP it can create Senta Monsters throughout emotions. With any powers imaginable. Next one we have Mullo, so the power of multiplication. In the hands of the holder, they can shrink and also multiply whatever they have, like Polymouse multiplied the lucky charm that Ladybug gave her by using Multitude. Mullo haven't used Multitude by itself so I feel like Mullo can multiply things as well as multiply other things unwanted without the shrinking. I will actually rank Mullo as tier B, I find Mullo's power good and also multiplying is a powerful ability and also useful. I wonder if Mullo can multiply Miraculous, the tier will probably be higher. Next one we have Sass, the power to turn back into time whenever Sass wants, Sass used the power of second chance in the episode Ephemeral and only he knows what happened. It has consequences of having a timeline mess. I will rank Sass in tier B as well, Sass second chance is more of a strategic power. Only he can go back in time, it's like a reset. Next one is Kaki the Kwame of teleportation. Basically Kaki uses Voyage in the series multiple times, it can teleport something and also consequences like teleport unwanted things in places like space. I would rank Kaki in tier B, Kaki can teleport something whenever and wherever it wants. It can teleport somewhere where the ones being teleported can easily died. That's probably the powerful about it. Next one we have Fluff the Kwame of Evolution. Fluff can basically time travel at any time, there is also a place called Burrow like the magical place where they are in the miracle box just for time traveling purposes. I will rank Fluff as solid tier S, even Ladybug said it in season 5 that the most powerful is the rabbit miraculous. Time traveling and can alter the past and present. Next Kwame will be Suppu the Kwame of Derision. 
Suppu's power uproar can summon an item which make the target's power and abilities out of control. So basically Suppu's power is about messing things up. I am not sure what tier I will rank Suppa to, but if Uproar can make Kwame's ability if targeted be messed up too, I will rank it between tier A and B, they should use the monkey miraculous often to be honest. Next Kwame will be Long, the Kwame of perfection. Long has three abilities, Wind Dragon, Thunder Dragon, and Water Dragon. So Long has a nature type of power. I will rank Long in tier A. Long's powers can cause natural disasters, I am not sure how wide the range is but it will probably be a big catastrophe if Long used any of the abilities. Next is Daisy, the Kwame of Jubilation, the ability gift gives the target their desires and also can trap them into them as we see in Jubilation episode. It is a useful power and actually can defeat a villain easily for me. I will have to rank the Pig Miraculous as tier D, not that the power is weak, but it's for other purposes. I initially think that this power can help defeat Hawkmoth if ever they encounter him. But he's dead now. Next is the Roar, the Kwame of Elation, Roar's ability is clout that allows Roar to gather tremendous amount of, of energy and blowing it. This is pure power, we saw in Elation and Penal Team how powerful the Tiger Miraculous is. It also leaves a crater after Purple Tiger used clout. I will rank Roar between tier A and S, Compared to the other, it possessed more power, but it's not as powerful as Lucky Charm, Cataclysm, and Time Traveling. Next is Bark, the Kwame of Adoration. Bark's ability is Fetch which can teleports anything it touches into their possession. I am not sure if Bark will produce a ball to do the Fetch ability. Assuming that the Fetch has no limit and can teleport anything like buildings and others. I will rank Bark as Tier C. I am not sure how the Fetch works if Bark uses it. Can it be many things or just one? If just one then I will put it as tier C but if the other way around I will probably but bark in tier B. Next is Stomp, the Kwame of Determination and have the power of resistance, so basically it makes you invulnerable, any attack or even Cataclysm. We saw it when Monarch used it and plagued Cataclysm him it didn't work. I will rank Stomp as tier A invulnerability is a powerful ability that even Cataclysm can't destroy the power. I am not sure if Stomp can also share the invulnerability to others. It will make the tier higher. Next is Ziggy, the Kwame of Passion, the ability is Genesis and it draws objects and make it real. It can make anything real. It's just like a lucky charm. If Ziggy uses it, I think it will make a catastrophe by making something real be fake and something fake become real without it knowing. I will rank Ziggy between tier A and S making anything become real is a powerful ability. I'm not sure of the limit of this power but the given power is powerful enough to be rank in higher tier. Next is Zeriko. The Kwame of pretension and has the ability of sublimation. Compared to Ziggy, Ariko can choose any powers and ability except the ones that has already existed. Like in Penal Team, Roosterbold has the power of manipulating the ball or object and in Strike Back, he can multiply things. I will rank Ariko as solid tier S. Ariko can choose what power to use except for the ones that already existed. There might be ability ideas there that are more powerful than the ones already existing. Last one is Leary, the Kwame of freedom and have the power of liberation which when used, can free someone from their mental and emotional restrictions for their actions, if used for evil, making their target uncontrolled. I will rank Leary between tier A and B, I feel like it is powerful and at the same time it is mid freeing someone from their mental and emotional restrictions sure is useful. But if out of control, it can damage and make anyone uncontrollable, imagine if it was used in Kwame's. Since I dropped nothing on tier E, I wanted to add Gimme, the Kwame of reality. I will rank it as tier S plus. Combination of Plague and Tiki. Can manipulate reality.